moment one. Thank you for having me. Today we'll be showcasing Mega Market sets. Uh, this well, this category specifically is going to be, uh, it's only 100%. Uh, thank you for all the donation incentives that was met. And thank you for all for your donations uh, and to make this thing completely possible. So today with me, I have Melody Gore. Say hi, Melody. Uh, hi, I'm Melody Gore. I'm a uh, longtime speedrunner of Mega Man X6. Yeah, uh, we both will explain all the things, uh, the crazy things that's going to happen in this task. So hopefully you don't blink too much, so you don't miss all the action. So uh, are we ready to start on my count? Okay, so three, two, one, go. So yeah, Mega Man X Mega Man X is basically the last game of the of the PlayStation era for Mega Man for Mega Man games. And it's one loved and hated by so, by so many people, depending on how you look the game up. Basically, the game is designing a way that is really hard to actually play around, but it is so satisfying to see patrons and tasks of this game. And hopefully today you are going to enjoy this task with us. So, um, as I previously said, we're going to for S only 100%. S is typically the sub optimal character to use in this game. Um, but we'll show to to totally the opposite today. Uh, we're going to set the game on string. This is basically the hardest difficulty on the game. And um, yeah, we're going to go right away to the intro stage. Um, the movement strategy for this game as a task is to use crash dash. This is basically press down and just dash. This allows us to dash instantly with higher acceleration speed, and then we cancel the dash with pressing back, and then we dash again, basically, so recent repeat. This is basically the preferred method until we get hyper dash later, later in the game. Uh, as you can see, S has a C saber that's typically not normal for S, but in this case, that's what happened at the end of X5. Uh, it's faster to go from that left wall to the right. These boxes can only be destroyed using the C saber. And you will notice how different is the wall jump here. Uh, basically, normally when you wall jump, there is a knockback animation that you have to go through to actually jump again from the wall. Basically, using the C saber, as soon as you wall jump, you can actually cut that knockback and jump again right away. So right away, we are into the intro stage boss. This boss uh, is pretty difficult in the sense that you can only do one damage uh, using all, all the weapons. So charge, poster, sea saber, and air dash, all of them just do one damage. So basically the strategy is to just do as many hits in second consequences as possible. At the end, you can actually shoot the, the eye at the top that you can see there. That basically makes the, the boss to fall down and do eight damage. That's typically not used until the end hit because it is slower than just doing damage, uh, even if it's, even if it's one, just one point of damage. Um, here is Diamond Zero. Uh, this is pretty sus, if you ask me. Basically, Zero died in his fight, so it's for the spoilers. Um, yeah. You yeah. might not... Uh, sorry. Uh, so you notice that I took a lot of damage during the boss fight. This is because we are going to have another fight here with high max. High max is, uh, this fight is basically impossible to actually defeat. So it's similar to Vile in Mega Man S1. The idea is that you either need to get enough damage to actually finish the fight like we just did or wait for certain seconds. Sorry, uh, Melody, were you were going to say something? Yeah, I was going to say that um, Zero holds a very important part in this run. Well, at least he would, but since this is uh, X only, you only see Zero one more time uh, throughout the entirety of the run, and that will be when we fight him in the uh, in a coming up stage. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so the first stage that we are going through is the Trainer Totally stage. Um, the intention here is to go to the alternate area to uh, pick Hyper Dash and yeah, basically that's the whole reason. And in regards to alternate area, it, each of the main eight stages has uh, uh, the main route to actually go to the boss fight or an alternate area to actually find Emir Zero, High Mass and it's more, more we'll explain that later. Um, some collectibles are in both parts, some are in the first part, in the main road part and the alternate area. So the gimmick of this stage is basically that there is an acid rain that you will see coming up right now. Uh, the idea is that you take damage over time for this, 
And the idea is that you need to destroy four eyes that will eliminate a barrier that the machine provoking this acid rain is. And after you destroy the machine, you can move forward. We have, I believe, four sessions of this. This is the second one. And each one will be longer than the previous one. So we are going to the third bar area. And you will see a, a huge bottle spit here. And then we need to do some tricky jumps to actually pass through as soon as possible. And yeah, uh, Melody, you were going to say something? Uh, yeah. So that whole skip that just happened uh, is possible because um, the cycle of the... Uh, the cycle of those uh, moving platforms don't actually start until they're on screen. Now mm -hmm. you can jump uh, ahead and then like fade back to like earlier spawn uh, the later totems, and then uh, you can use that to skip over the entire pit uh, with really really precise uh, jumps and movement. Yeah, that's pretty much right. And um, here we are in this theater area. The, this is another AC rain pet with some reploids that we need to rescue. The reploids are one of the of the things that you need to collect in this game for 100%. There are eight, 16 of them in each of the eight main stages. Um, and yeah, we have, there are other things that we need to collect. But first, we also need to we will collect the reploids here, defeat the the uh, beat the acid rain is part of so we can get to the boss fight real quick just to know to explain how much things we need to collect we have to pick to collect 16 nightmare or uh, red plus we need to rescue 16 red plus per per eight stages we also need to collect one hair container for each one stage and this zero fight Zero Fight is really interesting because he's actually weak to his own saber. Uh, mm -hmm. Normally when you hit him with his saber, he'll teleport away, but if you, for whatever reason, if you do a jump slash on him, it still does the uh, the weakness damage to him, uh, and he doesn't teleport away, so that makes the fight really fast. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, so we need to collect all the reploids, we need to collect all the hair containers, there are eight of them, there are four tons, there are four of them as well. And then we also need to collect the X armor parts. There are eight of them. So there's a lot of things to collect and track. But yeah, we, we, Melody and I will guide you through this to actually make it simpler. Um, the second stage we're going through is Infinity Meginium. Not sure how that name is actually pronounced, but whatever. Uh, the, 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 idea, the main idea is that we need, we already got Hyper Dash from the, the previous stage. We need to actually get 500 Nightmare Souls to actually equip the, it. Basically, Hyper Dash speeds up your dash speed. And so for that, we are going to beat the two shortest stages because each one of the boss fight gives you 200 Nightmare Souls and we will get 100 Nightmare Souls throughout the both boss stages from these from enemies. Um, and yeah, that's basically the idea. And after that, we can get Hyper Dash and move at more higher speeds. So these tentacle enemies are nightmares. They drop eight nightmare souls when you defeat them. So we will get 100 from them throughout the the, the, the east stage and the next one. And the as like I say, the boss fight will drop 200 each one. So that will make 500. Um, so this is Illumina, the, the 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 big robot in the background. The idea is that you need to destroy, to destroy two of the cores, being this eye here. Uh, we use see saber because that's the most reliable way to do most, the most damage per per second. So we just do that, and then we are ready to go to the boss fight. Well, do you do you want to explain a little bit more how, how this boss fight works? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this boss fight is really strange um, because I'd say this is the most RNG heavy. Uh, boss in the game. So this boss will create clones of itself and teleport around the screen. Uh, ideally, he, whenever he teleports, he'll come back down to the ground so you can hit him, but sometimes he'll go all the way back up, uh, and he'll be spawning these bubbles around as well, which do damage you and make it harder to maneuver around. But for the most part, what you're doing in this is you're just damage boosting off of his body, or off the bubbles uh, and staying as close to him as you can for the entire uh, fight so that he doesn't move away from you. And that's basically putting it in yeah. uh, the simplest of terms. Yeah, the strategy basically was to use Charge Buster with Sea Saber in combination. And just by defeating that, we get 200 Emerald Souls. This green orb represents 200 Emerald Souls. The blue ones represent 8. And 
I believe there are red ones that represent 100, right? That's more for easy mode. Correct me if I'm wrong, Lord. Yeah, that is that is correct. Okay, so by defeating Maginio, we get high arrow rare. It's a weapon very useful and overpowered that S can use. And basically does a lot of damage to basically almost all the bosses in the game. And you will see it being used a lot in this run. So yeah, you will get it used to it pretty soon. So the next stage is Shield Shadow stage. Um, this My is the favorite. shortest. Yeah, this is the shortest stage of the whole game. And it is pretty cool to see as ads. Because the thing is, that there's a gimmick. The gimmick in this stage is basically there are puzzles that you need to resolve. Each puzzle involves one laser gun and a few uh, and a few reflectors. These reflectors can be spinning around, you see, by shooting at them or slashing at them if you are zero. And then basically you need to spin all of them into a specific position so that the laser hits a door that will open up. This is all before, after this small part here. So what this he's is doing the... right now is, is he's doing something called tasks or task manipulation. So he's making this laser come right away by um, very, very precisely moving when the laser shoots. Uh, and it makes every single other cycle like instant, instantaneous, which uh, is uh, really tight. And only like three runners can do it, like RTA. <laughs> That's nice. So now we are going to fight Shield Shadow. We have a Ray Arrow Squib, as you can see. We are purple X right now. So the thing is, basically, you charge Ray Arrow and you release it. In the first cycle, you release it. You do it three times. This will make Shield Shadow be in a really low HP position, too, so he can do this attack. And then the last Ray Arrow will finish it off. There is a if you don't get him into very low HP in the first cycle, there is a possibility, a really high possibility of him making an attack where he is completely invincible for a really long time. So we wanted to avoid that. So now we got the final 200 nightmare souls that we won. So now we are we are going to equip Hyper Dash, and you will see the difference of how fast X will move from now on. Um Crow, do you have some donations? Feel free to read them real quick. Yes, we have one donation here. Uh, $5 from Zero, and it simply says, <laughs> What am I fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Zero. Yeah, thank you. Too bad you're not in this run. I miss you. <laughs> yeah, Zero is pretty, pretty much basically in the page. But we unlock it, Zero, but we won't be using it at all. Do it to Katariga, of course. So now we're going to the Commander Jamar stage. We want to go to this stage next because of the weapon that we get from it. Basically, one of the few weapons that are really useful for us. But we'll explain to that later. So we can see it's, it's moving like really fast. Way faster than previously. And we are now, go now going to collect the first armor part for it. This is this, these are the leg armor, the, the, the leg parts for the plate armor. You will see the blade armor being used later. Um, so we will continue traversing to the stage. And you will just see this dark overlay. This is basically a, a, a nightmare effect. Basically because we visited uh, Maginning stage before this. We are going to down to this pit. Rescue the reploys, get a hair container and then suicide. The idea is that we need to keep base. Uh, we get to pick out the thing down there and be spawned up here again. So then we can go to this other other section without revisiting the stage. Then we can pick up the replays that, that are left. And then after that, we can move on into to the boss. Wow, this is so crazy, this movement. It's just insane. As, a, as an RTA runner, whenever I watch these passes, it's just, it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the movement is very, very, you can play around with the movement in in as a task because you can be very precise but that's come after you get to know how the movement works in general in it says because it's kind of tricky sometimes yeah but getting to the boss we got to commander jamark uh, so we again we'll be using ray arrow this is actually canonically speaking this it's his weakness but ray arrow works for like like 90 percent of the boss the same way for some reason. Not sure what was the idea behind that, but not gonna complain. So just with four charge ray so we actually get to defeat him. Hardest boss in the game. Yeah. 
Uh, we have to get more Nightmare Souls, but we don't specifically care, at least not right now. We will equip one limited part later in the game that requires 1,000 Nightmare Souls, but that's like way later in the game, and it's way beyond the point where we actually care about that. So next, we are going to the Metal Shark player stage. Um, Bro, you have a quick donation, you can go ahead, please. Uh, we currently do not have any donations, but just as a reminder, all the proceeds are going to Nami. And just a little uh, thing, this is probably one of the weirdest Mavericks ever named. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, totally, I totally his agree. Name. His name is actually, it's a translation error. It's Metal Shark mm -hmm. Prayer because he is a priest. He resurrects all dead rebels, basically. So, yeah, it was meant to be prayer. So, yeah, that's a translation error. So, with Metal Shark Player, this is uh, this stage has a very big gimmick, and uh, one gimmick that a lot of people hate is that this press will come down and up, and then it will attempt to crush you. You will need to go forward as you at it, and also avoid getting crushed. We left a uh, mechanic, me mechanic suit before. Uh, at the top hill at the previously and that basically allows the press to not go as down but on this part we don't have that and you can see we also have extensions now for the press basically it's making it harder to you to move forward you can see for example i gbed that to like thinking that i was going to die and i just went back i mean you're cheating you're using a task <laughs> i will not be verifying this run so now we're going to the second part of the stage so basically this is another uh press area but now we have a conveyor belt basically looking forward they they are making looking forward that you make a mistake <laughs> just to crush you uh we, this is charge a uh, car shell this is a weapon not not much useful generally speaking but he has some uses in this particular stage. He has some. It can be used as a backfire, so you can have some backfire behind you, similar like that the Commander Jamar weapon. Uh, one quick note: this nightmare enemy is trying to to infect to infect this reploid. They they basically try to infect them, and if you let them touch a reploid, you lost them for, and you no longer can achieve 100%. This is uh, this mini boss is Rangda Bangda's uh, cousin. Basically, normally what you're supposed to do is these, uh, wait for him to bring down those, high, uh, or that little pillar thing that you saw in the middle, and it has three, uh, major hitboxes on it, and then you're supposed to destroy all three of them to proceed, but I guess you can just do it instantly with that weapon. I've never seen this, uh, stage done with X, at least not that often. Yeah, that... It's, it, that's specifically his his weakness. That weapon does like way more damage than the other weapon. So I yeah, guess that really? they will they program it to be the weakness for that uh, mini boss. So this is Metal Shark Prayer, um, but just like the other bosses, we just use Charge Ray Arrow, Ray Arrow. <laughs> all the way. It's such a good weapon. It's so stupid. It is, and this he has another benefit, hidden benefit because. This is not the weakness for this boss, actually. But when you use a weakness weapon against a boss, they go into a very long iframe period. But given the that Ray Arrow is not the weakness, basically they are... Uh, uh, you can hit them again as soon as possible. Which is something that you do not get used when using weaknesses. So the next stage is Blaze Hitness. Um, basically, it's another bot, another stage that pretty, a lot of people actually don't like. The gimmick of it is basically that you have to beat five mini bosses. It, it, we call it mini boss, but it's not mini at all in any sense. It has like a lot of HP, and you have to beat five of them to actually get to the boss itself. Yeah, these bosses, um, the thing about these bosses is he's going to use, uh, he's going to use Charge Anchor here. Uh, basically, what Charge Anchor will do is it'll allow you to destroy all the four major hitboxes on these donuts, as that's what we call them. We call them donuts. Mm -hmm. um, and then between each boss, there is a tiny little, like, uh, segment where you have to go through, like, actual stage. Mm -hmm. um, the neat thing about this stage that I think is... 
that, um, like, well, it's less neat and more just kind of people like at first glance the health bar like if you're first playing the game uh and you look at that health bar i remember being a kid and seeing that health bar and being like what uh <laughs> i thought i was getting messed with uh but you soon realize that um there are weapons that you can use to really really quickly destroy these uh these yeah. donuts yeah, so, in that point, I, I died specifically on purpose to actually go back here because there's one replay on the top section and one and two actually on this lower section. So in order to avoid a revisit, we just rather die there. That's why we took damage all over the stage to actually die at that, post, at that point specifically to go back and then go here. So we already rescued rescue one replay. It has ultimate buster. That's a part that we will use later. And there is another one after we defeat this donut. Um, so Metal Anchor, Charge Metal Anchor basically spawns a lot of Storm Eagles, that's a reference to my S1. But the thing is that they appear in random order, so you cannot always reliably one-shot that boss. So that's the thing, that since we are passing, we can manipulate lot RNG to actually get like a, an ideal uh, setup, like that for example. And we already got to the to place hidden's. Um, I guess I don't. I shouldn't explain anything because that's just Ray right error all the way. So it's yeah, not there's, there's nothing really to explain. At this point, you, what you'll be seeing for the remainder of the run, well, minus one boss. There's one coming up that is got a different strategy. But uh, yeah, it's mostly just Ray arrow for the entirety of uh, most bosses. At least for the uh, the eight Mavericks, it'll just be charge Ray arrow. Well, saving of them. Yeah. Seven. Because of of, that's true. Yes, yes, yes. There is a. Uh... Yeah, Virginio basically is the boss that gives off this weapon, so he's. Pre pre this weapon doesn't do any damage to him. Uh, don't you do the QK on uh, Scaravich? Like the, the quick kill? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I will get to explain that in the. Yeah, because the next stage is actually Blizzard Wolfram. Uh, so we'll go that there, and then we'll go to Scarabish, and then we'll do a quick kill. Um, that basically, we can kill Scarabish like in two seconds. This, but... this stage has really, really cool movement. So if you do a tiny hop and then land and dash at around the same time, you'll get extra momentum, and we call that a rocket. Uh, and then you'll be seeing these mini rockets uh, throughout the entire stage to get like extreme movement. Yep. So that only works on flat surfaces, on soft and on flat icy surfaces. So on the uphill part, we we actually cannot do that. We cannot like keep the momentum. But once you get to after this session, you will see what Melody is trying to explain, which is basically leave the camera a little bit behind. That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, and using that, we can actually get like a momentum and the air dash to actually get to this part and get this shadow armor part but you are not normally you normally don't get here with this armor in reality you will use other uh, zero either zero or, or or blade armor and then we have uh, this statue session the idea is that they are falling 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 blocks and you need to wait for them to uh, to, to pile up so you can go up so we use air dash to actually remain on air for some frames and for this session, specifically, we use a combination of air dash and, and magma blade. Basically, the idea is to stay on air as much as possible while the plots are falling off. So then you can uh, traverse your way up before be, be, without waiting for them to stockpile at the bottom. And there's another rocket, and he's gonna start. Oh, yeah. Is, they, um, is there a reason they, you don't go for the full rocket or for yeah, the half rocket? Yeah, there is a like a small exploit there. But basically, you can actually go all the way next to the boss in this boss fight. But that works in specific game, specific version of the game. Doesn't work like in all versions. Oh, and doesn't work. One. Doesn't work on this one. Yeah. So yeah, Ray Arrow all the way down. One boss less. Um, uh, Cloud, you have some donations. Feel free to read them. 
Yes, we've got one donation here for $5 from the Ice Burner. No comment, but thank you very much for the donation. Also, guys, uh, Zero's in the corner here crying. <laughs> oh, no. Zero. Don't worry. I'll go be his, uh, I'll go be his emotional support. That's my, that's my boy. Man, this game is supposed to be Zero featuring Mega Man X6. But uh, there's no zero. Yeah, basically zero can actually defeat all the bosses. Not all, but like most of the bosses, like really quickly. Basically, Instantly. well, like, I, I don't want to get like in the full details of that. Oh, real, real, real quickly, we equip it, uh, ultimate buster. That part specifically allows Eds to to instantly shot a, a charged weapon without charging at all. So then you you can instead of shooting lemons, you shoot a full charge buster. And instead of uh, char uh, using regular weapons, we use shot the uh, charged weapons. And that gives us the benefit that we don't need to charge. They're like Ray Arrow, each time we want to use it in, in between. So we just fire instantly at the time. The gimmick uh, of this stage is really fun. Ooh. So you go through these totems and they teleport you into a random area. Obviously, the task we manipulate it to uh, be in the correct area to give us uh, all the weapons or all the items that we need. Uh, basically, uh, you go through these totems, uh, complete the stage, come out of the totem, and then defeat the totem itself. Um, how many different uh, areas are there? There are eight areas and four totems. Eight areas and four totems. Okay. Yeah, so basically we need to manipulate these areas. Basically we want to visit twice the stage. To So in each visit we got one, uh, the first set of four areas and then the other visit we get the other four. This is to avoid like having um, the habit to revisit the one, one more time. Basically in, in, for RT, RTA this is like easily the, uh, a wrong killer. Because you can end up visiting the same area one time after another, and don't and to complete 100%, you will need to go like to this stage like even four or five times. Um, we also get like another armor part. This is the helmet for the blade armor. Uh, so that's two out of four, and we have one for the shadow armor in Franco currently. So now we are going into this ground scarabage. So ground scarabage, this is the exploit that Melody talked about earlier. Um, there is a, a glitch in his iframes. So basically when you do damage to him, he will turn around, he will wait. And if you shoot him before he starts walking again, his iframes get completely glitched and you can actually do damage even, even if, if he's an iframes like that. So that's like one of the, and that works, um, that works with zero and with X. Yeah, basically, it doesn't matter who you are, basically, you can just use whatever. But the thing with Zero is that you can just SCC. And yeah. to, to that point, you just rather... You are, you are already defeated, basically, when you get to the point where you when you, you can do the glitch. In in the... I believe in the... In the boss revise, you can just use the Steve Buster. Yeah. And that will do, like, a lot of damage in, in just... But just one shot. But... Oh, uh, we can forget about Siri. We are not going to talk about Siri this round, so sorry for that, for fun, sorry, fans. Thank you for the five dollars, zero, by the way. Again. Yeah, pretty really appreciated. But we're not um, talking so, about you. <laughs> so now we are going to train it to Floyd back again. This is the last of the bosses that we need to defeat to unlock the, the final stages. So this time we are going back as a big boy. We are not having. We have a lot of weapons. We have hyper dash. We have. Um, Ultimate Buster as well, so you can see how quickly you can just destroy everything with the command your charger, your command your mark, sorry, charge your mark option and charge Buster. And we will also get other deploys that we didn't get in the first visit um, because it's faster to do so with Hyper Dash. This stage looks really cool with uh, yeah. the charge your mark. <laughs> Yeah, and there is another one quick, nice thing we do, I will do here. I will, I will use a charge dark shell to stay on air and get hit, and they can I can air dash to the right so I can skip even faster the 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 bottom the huge bottom speed. This is easily the coolest stage in terms of movement. Yeah, there's a lot going on in a very special session. Uh, so this this is a pretty bad. Uh, depending on who you ask, this is like a really bad design. 
This is, you need to deploy armor to actually get this part. This is the, the body for the shadow armor. So uh, blade armor basically can pass through this with a shorter uh, hitbox. But with us, we can have like a very precise uh, movement and position as well to actually be able to pass through. And just like that, we got to the, to the boss fight. Uh, this is Rachel Floyd. And in this, this boss fight is a little bit different. We are going to use a combination of Charger, Battle Anchor, and Charge Ray Arrow. Um, basically, there is a glitch with Ready to Floyd. Basically, you need to destroy the gems in his shell to actually do damage. But the, the other side of his body is completely vulnerable. So we are going to use Charge Metal Anchor to hit it from the other side like that and then we will cut pause, uh, pause to cancel and then charge to ray arrow so the thing with with his the other side is that there is it's kind of glitchy so you can hit him without destroying the gems but if you actually hit the gems you can reset his iframes completely so if you can imagine like 20 storm eagles inside inside his hitbox Hitting the side and hitting the shell at the same time, it does a, like a lot of damage really quickly. But after the gems are destroyed, uh, they, they basically the glitch uh, disappears. So that's why we changed to Ray Arrow after that. So, we already defeated all the eight main bosses. We can go to the final stages, but we need to get a lot of items before going to, before doing that. So now we'll be going to a bunch of alt areas. Yeah, pretty much. So we are going to unequip uh, Ultimate Buster. We need uh, lemons in to to do the puzzles in in Shields and Dungeon stage. So basically, we will revisit every single stage except one, except the Commander Javan stage. We already visited twice Range of Floyd, so we don't need to do that. So we need to re revisit the other six stages. Um. So like previously said, we need lemons to actually reflect the, to to rotate the laser the, the the reflectors really quickly as you can see right now and the the thing the, the difference is that we are not going to the right we are going to to the bottom to go to the alternate area we have to throw solve all these puzzles in order to advance and then we are going to get to pass to this visible wall and get to uh, the body part for the um, the blade armor. So we got the reploy. Uh, we think get all these reploys, get damage hit, to get the hell the hell container, and go to the other area. So uh, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say that, um, so for basically for the rest of this area, uh, you're just damage boosting to pass, you can damage boost to pass through those, uh, those red blocks, by the way, which is really cool. This boss, yeah. uh, this is Hymax, correct? Uh, I think so. Yeah, because Hymax isn't defeated, so it won't be Dynamo. Yeah, <laughs> so it will be Dynamo, what the? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so, well... We will use a combination here of uh, Meteor Rain. This is basically a weak this weakness. Um, so to explain what happens here. In all the alternate areas, you the first time you go to an alternate area, you get to fight Nightmare Zero. You defeat Nightmare Zero and then you unlock Zero. The second time you go to an alternate area, you will feed, you will fight Hymas. Depending if you have the right weapons, you can actually defeat Hamas, or you will need just to die and get again over and then go back to the stage selection screen. But if you unlock the final stages, then instead of getting Hamas, you get Dynamo. And this is basically the filler boss that was added to, to have a boss in alternate areas. And one thing that you might, that we didn't explain before, once you go into an alternate area, you actually cannot go out by just escaping, even if you defeated the boss of the stage. So right there, I just equipped the ultimate buster, if, if I recall correctly. We are going to Metal Shark player stage, or prayer. And similar to before, we are going to leave this mechanic, mechanic suit on the top of, the, of this little here here. <clears throat> and then, so the press won't go down all the way so we can pass this first special session really fast 
and then we'll go to the second session and similar to before and That's using the ice block glitch yeah this the, the ice block is a weapon that we got for reason warfare basically the idea is that it's almost a block that you can use as a platform you can get inside the block uh before it gets to the ground and it will hit you because it's just another hitbox and then using that invisibility period that you can actually pass through objects like i we did in the previous stage and like we did in in the press we can uh, we get the the helmet for the shadow armor and the, the the thing is that if you get crushed by an object that won't kill you you these those iframes allow you to actually pass through other objects you can so using the ice block glitch you got to you can do get to do that so this is the alternate area this is basically an auto scroller we will just play around and mess around with the game a little bit showing off some weapons showing off uh, some gimmicks with the with the mechanic suit uh the pro you have some donation favorites right now uh, not seeing any donations right now, but just want to give everybody a friendly reminder that we still have our incentive for our Final Fantasy run later this evening for name, change the name of the party. So if you want to change those names, make sure to get those donations in. Ooh, really nice. Exciting. Yeah. Very so for the Final Fantasy run. We are going to just uh, show a lot of, uh, there's a glitch with these gray blocks and the mechanic suit. So basically, it will make the press go all the way off screen at the top. So you no longer are threatened at all by making basically this stage free. So we are showcasing a lot of the weapons. This is a charged ice block. This basically allows you to, to dash and sh uh, shoot like ice spikes out to the top and the bottom. Uh, this is Clash Shell. You are most, most likely already know how it's about. It's basically a reflector for projectiles. Also, it only works like in a very few projectiles because the, the projectile for the nightmares you kind of reflect back for some reason. This is Charm Meter Rain, you already saw that, that's from Renato Tloy. And then we you we just came here to pick that replay specifically that somehow got lost here. And then we are going back to fight Dynamo again. Uh, so in proof, just like before, we are going to use a major rain that's the weakness of dynamo um yeah that's pretty much it yeah uh, also and uh, something uh, uh, something that i didn't explain when you use dynamo's weakness and sh and while in his stone state you shoot it again he basically will always drop 200 nightmare souls so you can do it three times per fight and you can get basically 600 nightmare souls per per fight if you want this is basically the easiest way to get nine uh, 9,999 souls in the game. Back, back when I, I was a kid, I, I spent a lot of time to do that, but I actually went to do that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, we are equipped Ultimate Buster to equip a Weapon Plus. And we don't have quick charge yet, no. So basically, we ah okay, we basically on a, a quick ultimate buster and weapon plus. And now we are going to revisit the 50 machining stage. This time we are going to use charge a uh, command Jamar option to defeat the the course really fast. Just look at look wow. at that. Yeah, basically the thing is, did you? Get the, the, the dragonfly inside inside the, the hitbox and then then spray you stick that dragonfly outside and then you basically you wiggle it a lot. So and we embedded this nightmare we get to the we get to the alternate area. This alternate area is pretty funny as zero. Uh, first the first thing is at the left there is a a capsule for the arm parts for the body the blade armor and a health container and to the right there is a huge bottomless pit that with zero if you you can actually trigger send suicide that's a weapon that zero has and just die right away without <laughs> any option oh yeah that yeah because the thing, few any percent runs to that yeah because the thing is you have to hold up to grab the pulse and then if you want to slash one of the enemies you use the square button so if you press up and square you use in switching and then you go all the way to the bottom <laughs> it's yeah. pretty funny hilarious 
Uh, for a change, we are going to go back to the Ray Arrow strategy, given that we have a uh, Ultimate Buster. So basically, it's, since we have if we since we have Ultimate Buster, it's faster to just use that because you don't have to charge in between Ray Arrows. Uh, without Ultimate Buster, you need to charge, and that's kind of slowly. So we that's why we use Metro Rain in the other fights, and now from now on onwards, we are going to use uh, Ray Arrow. So the next stage is Ground Scarabich. So we already have the blade armor completed. So now we're going to use a different armor for the rest of the game. This is the blade armor. It's basically kind of the same to, to Falcon armor, but you now have the mag dash. Mag dash is basically an air dash that you can do in all four directions, up, down, left, and right. It's very similar uh, to the X3 armor. Yeah, pretty much. And um, you also have a small invincibility period at the start of this mag dash. And there are other differences as well, but it's pretty, pretty much uh, not worth it to talk about. So we manipulate RNG to actually go to the other areas that we didn't go before to rescue the, the, the missing deploys. Also, the, the buster is different as well, but it's not going to be used that much. So we use the Sea Saber backward momentum trick to actually go up like really fast. And then we'll go to the, to the last two <coughs> third poles. So like I previously said, we need to specifically manipulate these areas to not be to not visit the one of the areas that we previously went. Because that's just losing time. And each area at least has one reploy. So yeah, we want to visit all of them in just two visits. And then we are going to the last one. This last one holds a portal to the other area. So here the here is a reploy that has um quick charge. It's the one in the right, this one. It's pretty useful and it's better than Ultimate Buster for many reasons, in general at least. But uh, we'll get to explain that later. And so we're going to the alternate area. Now it is basically we just basically need to go here out the way just to get one single reploy. But yeah, that's basically it says for you. Yeah, and now we're uh, fighting Dynamo again, our best friend. Yeah, he, his thing is awesome, at least. Yeah, that, it, that's the good thing. This game has a lot of good music. Yeah, definitely. If I could say uh, anything about X6 uh, to anybody watching, uh, the common consensus is that this game sucks, but... Uh, seems to be what people think even if they've never played it i say if you have the time get the game just run it on easy you know not speed run it but just play it give it a chance uh it's uh actually really really fun to play and uh if you just give yourself a little bit of practice it's actually not that hard it's not like the super hard Mega Man x game that everybody thinks it is uh it's a lot of fun and i think you'll have a grand old time playing it it is hard if you're playing a string, that's for sure. But you shouldn't go to a string like in the first try or second try. And even normal is more or less difficult, but not yeah. as difficult. But not as difficult. Um, so that I, I equip it. We unequip uh, Ultimate Boss and we equip it Quick Charge and we equip it Weapon Plus again. Quick Charge is a weapon that basically halves the the amount of frames that we need to charge before char uh, fully charging a weapon. So we are going back to this stage, the blazing stage, so we are going to use Charge Metal Anchor again. And just like before, we manipulate the Storm Eagles to actually come in a desired position that we can clear it as soon as possible. We are using a combination of Air Dash and Dash Jumping to do the platforming. The, 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 the nice thing about Blade Armor is that it gives you a lot of possibilities. You don't have just one option to traverse some platforming, if you know what I mean. And we are going to use Servant Anchor here, press start, cancel, and then go all the way here to rescue this Reploid that's all the way here but while the boss is exploding. We are now going to the way to the top area to get to get like a lot of Reploids. Just count the huge amount of Reploids thrown in at this small area. And we also get the arm parts for the shadow armor. And there are way more reploids to the right, and then there's the portal to the alternate area. How many reploids are there in the game? 
16 by 8. Uh, I quickly forgot. No, 16 by 8, sorry. So that's 128 replots. So not very little. So not using a combination of air dash and and the saber and the ice block here to actually pass through this block and we'll get a tank and yeah let's go all the way to dynamo do we have any uh dom donations that we can read yeah we got a couple of donations here we have 50 dollars from lobster zelda that says hey everyone really enjoying the tasses and speed runs i've seen so far keep up the great work and keep raising money for a great cause we also have a $10 donation from Macros V that says, This is a ridiculous run, but when are we going to see everyone's favorite Reploid? Dynamo! Oh, don't worry, Macros, we've already been seeing him. <laughs> I love it. I love him. So, thanks for that donation. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah, and now we are going to the last stage before actually going to the final stages. So now we are going to Blizzard Wall final stage back again. And um, we are going to the other area. Oh, by the way, I think we already unlocked the shadow armor. That's the ninja armor for reds. But so unfortunately, cool. unfortunately, we don't, don't get to use it because the thing is that the shadow armor doesn't can't use any of the weapons, so it's specifically limited to to the saber and some shurikens that you can shoot. Basically, the lemons are replaced by shurikens. Which is like awesome. <laughs> yeah, like it's a really cool armor, but uh, it's really bad. Um, yeah. But it does get the golden star. It gets a golden star on the fridge for looking the coolest out of any armor. Yeah, definitely. So we are going to pick out the replays that we didn't get before. Uh, the replays for this stage are just dogs. So they are some good boys. Um, yeah, you, you, there, you, could, you could see that we use the invisibility period for the back dash to actually pass through some of one of the columns or of ice blocks. That's we use the ice blocks over here, and then we so are going boring. all the way. Yeah, to so actually go to the top and get to the portal. The alternate area holds one replay, and that holds jumper. We are not going to this jumper because it, it makes like jumping a little bit slower. But it's actually a very useful part if you are casually playing this game. This one specifically. So now we are going Dynamo I game. Who we're fighting. I wonder who it is. <laughs> is it maybe Dynamo? I guess. Who am I fighting with? Tail says in the, the bench. Yeah. So yeah, this is the last Dynamo fight, unfortunately. Um, after this, we are going to the final stages. We are going to do a lot of unequipping and equipping of parts. One thing that we didn't get to explain is that there are um, um, there is a glitch in the in the in the screen where you actually equip parts. Basically, you we only have two slots for regular parts and one for limited parts, and you can equip more. But there's a glitch where you, when you are trying to equip a part, you basically press X and triangle at the same time. This basically confirms and, and cancels at the same time. So you equip the part, but you don't fill the slot, which is like real, really weird. Yes. So take a quick, a quick look here. We are going to unequip ultimate buster here. And then we will equip a Weapon Plus, Quick Charge, Buster Plus, Energy Saver, d Burger, and d Converter. All to one slot. Uh, yeah, well, and Power Drive, but Power Drive goes into, into its own slot because it's, it's a limited part. So you yeah. cannot do the same glitch with limited parts, unfortunately. Now um, comes yeah. the fun stages. Best music yeah, this, in the game. Yeah, this best, best banger at all. So we have the gate stages. So this is the first one of them. This is why many people think this is a by design. Basically, you cannot progress this stage if you come ill-equipped. So you, if you come with Phantom Amber, you normally cannot pass this spot because uh, of actually, all the spikes. you can. Um, you just need to use... You just need to have, uh, like, very precise placement of the ice block. Yeah, but I was like, like in, the, in like, regular play. Like, yeah, if well, you come here as a regular player, you are not going to pass that part with, with Phantom Amber. No, definitely not. Yeah, you need the Shadow Armor, Blade Armor, or Saber to actually beat this stage, uh, really speaking. But there are ways yeah. for other armors. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, we have this lava session. We a quick a quick look. We will have we will have a part that basically extends invisibility period. So we we'll go all the way to the lava. We we'll use a guy's ice block to actually extend our invisibility period and get to the last part. The the quick the, the cool thing is. is for some reason, you actually can use the ice block glitch once inside the lava. So basically, when you get to get hit, the game detects that you are inside an ice block, or, or not an ice block specifically, but a, an object. And then it will trigger invisibility. The second time you try to do that, you will die from the, the lava. So you unfortunately cannot do it forever. Um, right. Yeah, this is how to score, and we will get to the boss fight. The boss this fight is... My is... favorite boss in the game. So let me explain this boss yeah. to you. So this is um, Nightmare Mother. This is Nightmare Mother. Yes. Uh, so basically, this boss uh, has two parts to it, um, and it'll they'll both cycle around the screen for a few cycles, and then they'll stop, and then these eyes will come out, and then you can damage them. So what we'll be using is Charge Anchor to destroy both eyes in one cycle. Uh, normally, one cycling these uh, well with X, one cycling these bosses is really easy. Uh, normally we'll do it with zero, but we're not talking about zero because he doesn't exist. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, both eyes came out, and you can use charged metal anchor to destroy them both. Uh, for whatever reason, when people play this game casually, they think that boss fight is hard. But, uh, you can do that. There's your little... I see, I see, though, it's kind of hard, yeah, but with that, oh, well, yeah, with zero, it's a little interesting. Yeah, because the thing is, zero doesn't have armor, so basically he takes a lot of more damage than S does. Unless you are using unarmored heads, but that's a whole not other conversation. Yeah. Maybe a maybe a pass for the next year. Maybe we'll see. Mm. Yeah, just free, just go ahead and donate just so you we can be back the next year with more headsets or Mega Man heads in general. Um. So, uh, well, I guess I was going to explain a lot of the parts that we have, but I we can do that after this stage because we are already going into in it. So basically. There is a vertical part here, right quick, okay? and then after that we have a, a horizontal part. This, there is a passage uh, right here that if you don't jump and just dash, you're gonna squeeze a totem at the top here. There's supposed to be a totem, but there isn't anymore. And we use another ice glitch, ice block glitch to actually get through the pillars because they are just another object that you can pass through if you actually get hit using the ice block. And just like that, we are into high mass. And uh, this is our final fight. Um, so the idea basically is, basically it's a glitch, or uh, not sure if it's a glitch or not, but but basically you can use guard shell. We can use the C saber to stun him, and then use air dash to actually do damage to him. This works because the mag dash doesn't stun him. Doesn't like provoke like a, st a stunning animation like other weapons do. So you can just use guard shield to, to so the the guard dash hits it way more time than than normally would. Yeah. Did we explain guard shell glitch? You want me to do that? Yeah. Go on. Uh, so the way guard shell glitch works is whenever you have that little tiny like uh, shield in front of you, that guard shell, um, for whatever reason, uh, this works with zero and with X. Um, if you attack or do something that doesn't activate iframes, uh, for every single frame that your that this uh, hitbox is inside something, it will do damage, uh, causing you know like bosses to be destroyed really fast. Yeah, basically each two frames it will trigger again, so it will do damage each two frames. Two frames? Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So one frame it does, and the other it doesn't. So yeah, it will alternate between, between that. So this is gate the the last part of the gate two. Uh, one quick thing to explain is that the this stage will vary depending on who you are. If you are X or zero, with X you get a, a secret session like we just did, and with zero we get a, like a press session similar to Metal Sharp player. And this is gate. Uh, the final boss of the game, I guess, and he has no way that you can actually do damage to him, at least normally. So the only way that we can actually defeat him is that he shoot an orb. Um, then you actually destroy this orb, and this orb is pressed into more small orbs, and these orbs, small orbs actually do damage to Gate. 
So we actually manipulate him to shoot the orbs as soon as possible, destroy the orbs as soon as possible, and they, they do damage to Gabe. Normally this boss, uh, RTA, this boss, um, will either give you a really good run or destroy your run. More often than not, it will destroy your run. Uh, in the yeah. highest level of play, um, it doesn't, it literally doesn't come down to how well you played throughout the rest of the game. Uh, this boss, like, you can have task-like movement for the entirety. You can be on world record pace all the way up until this boss, and then you can be stuck here for, like, six minutes. Yeah, I completely saw you wrong altogether. So make, making your efforts worthless. So we defeated Gate, uh, but we didn't defeat the game. So the thing is that Sigma is actually the final boss of the game. The game wanted us to think that it was Gate, but it was not. So as a drum card, uh, Gate released a, a Sigma, and then we now have to fight Sigma. And before that, we need to do a boss refine. The boss refights are pretty much the same. Uh, you're just going to see a lot of Ray Arrow, uh, except for uh, on Majinian, uh, which you will see the fight done normally. And then on Scaravich, where you will see the quick kill. Uh, if we have any other donations that we can read, uh, now would yeah. be a good time. We currently don't have any donations right now, uh, but it did make me, uh, since we've been talking about Zero for a little bit, it did make me think of a joke, All if right. you mm -hmm. will indulge me. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go ahead. What is Zero's favorite Goo Goo Doll song? What is that? Iris! Jeez. <laughs> I'll see myself oh, out. Uh, all right, welcome to the... So, um, yeah. so yeah, basically we will need to refight all the bosses. Uh, we are using charge error for the most of them. There, are, uh, there is a quick, uh, not a quick, but like a nice thing about this re boss refight. You want to use charge Riero against all the bosses. Oh well, six of them. But the thing is, you don't have much ammo for that to actually use it against all the bosses. Um, so the thing I the, uh, I wanted to explain why we equipped all the parts that we equipped previously. So we have hyper dash for obvious reasons. We have a, a quick charge for obvious reasons. We have Weapon Plus, but Weapon Plus basically makes all the weapons do one more damage. So Ray Arrow, instead of doing eight, we do nine. Uh, we have Buster Plus because we want the charge Buster to do more damage. Why not? Energy Saver, basically Energy Saver makes you save half of the energy used for ch for weapons. So we really useful here in this boss refine. We have the barrier The barrier basically extends your iframes when you get hit. That's why we use it in the magma section in the gate one. We have the converter. The converter basically converts your damage into energy, uh, weapon energy. So that's why we get hit a lot during the fights to actually get more ammo, uh, charge, uh, 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 ray arrow ammo to use against the bosses. We also have power drive, but power drive comes into play later in the Sigma fight. Oh, that's so cool. Get excited yeah, so, for that, chat. Yeah. So basically, this boss whole refight is a whole set of ammo utilization optimization. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because otherwise, you will end up the at the end with just without any charge and ray ever, and then yeah, you will basically you will need to rely on other things, other weapons. So you can see we have 17 ammo, but that's for on charge, ray arrow for charge and ray arrow we have way less than that. I don't remember how how much uh, ammo we use uh, charge ray arrow uses. I think it's four. It's something like that, more or less, yeah. And yeah, uh, this is uh, the the ground scavenge. So we will use the same trick as we used before. So we will use the saber to, to make it into the left side. Oh, sorry, the charge buster, and then we use a lemon, and then we use the charge uh, command of your mind to destroy it real quick. The lemon, uh, basically, you shoot a lemon at him because uh, sometimes when the glitch, uh, when you do the glitch, uh, the boss will have one health left, so that lemon will stop the boss from having one health left because you're doing one extra damage before you do the uh, quick kill. Not specifically. The reason no. for that, yeah, the reason for that is that you want to trigger invincibility before he moves. 
Oh, that's true. Because yes. because you want the visibility, and then he moves, and then that triggers the the glitch. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the glitch because the iframes uh, go away. Yeah, yeah basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we uh, in the when we visit visited his stage, we used a uh, C saber, charge buster, and charge Jamal Gaucho, but that was because we had ultimate buster. We cannot do that in this case because we only have quick charge. Um. Yeah, should be. Uh... Yeah, I mean you you cannot like it, it's like a very short period yeah, to actually yeah. do the, all of that in mm -hmm. within within that yeah, short amount of it's time. Very 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 tight. Yeah, it takes a lot of practice to do. Runners do do it, uh, RTA. Uh, in fact, it's always hype in a run when you're watching the next six runner, and then they go for it, and then they get it. <laughs> yeah, because that saves like a lot of time in RTA. Yeah. So we are going to the last. Yeah, Commander Jamal fight. That's the one. Um, this for one. This one specifically, we don't use charge ray arrow. We only have. We, you can see we have zero ray arrows. But it's actually faster since you have quick charge to use. Just use the buster. But what we will do is uh, since we have um, the converter, we will get hit a few times so we can get one ray arrow and use it as a finisher. Oh, it's three. It costs three. Okay, not four. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very yeah. cool way to do the fight. All right, so now we're done with the uh, with the boss rush. Uh, and we're going to go to the final mini stage before we get to the, the final boss. Um, I'd like to explain the first form of Sigma, and I'll let you take the second form. Yeah, sir. Go ahead. Um, so this first stage, uh, it's a flat plane with a few pits. Uh, basically... Um, it's the part of the game where if you do, if you mess up, uh, you get super embarrassed because you're right before the boss fight and you die. Uh, so this is, um, Sigma, uh, in all of his, uh, broken glory, as you will see. Um, so, uh, as you'll see, he's, uh, if you look at him, he's seen better days. Yeah, definitely has seen better days. Uh, so he'll walk... Uh, forward slowly and do absolutely nothing because it's a final boss and it needs to be uh, really hard. Yeah, uh, he does like a lot of damage if you like if you don't have like armor. Yeah. Like yeah, take like this boss. like to the point that it's ridiculous. It's he does a lot of damage because he's the final boss. Yeah. Uh, change my mind. So <laughs> we are going to, to the second part of the boss fight. So now we are going to defeat... Uh, so basically, Sigma becomes a wall. Uh, that's a shout-out to Terminal Montage. So basically, his head is the only hitbox that he has. So his body is just, it's just a wall, which is like hilarious, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, we need to wait for him to open his mouth. So then we can actually do damage to him. The, the preferred method that we use to do damage is to use Magma Blade and use Power Drive. Power Drive basically does one more damage to any kind of weapon. And yeah, we use Magma Blade because it allows us to stay in air for a long time. And then we finish up with the oil charge. Uh, that's time. Ground dash. Yeah, that's time. So sorry for that. Uh, one more task. We need to press start to actually end the time. Uh, but yeah, this is the end, nonetheless. So yeah, that's what Mega Man says. Uh, it's only 100%. Uh, thank you a lot to actually sit with us and see us rambling about this game. Um, yeah, so if you like this kind of content, you can follow me up on YouTube. Basically, I upload videos weekly about Tula City speedruns and Mega Man says and other Mega Man games as well. Uh, that's YouTube slash she slash Roland Man one yeah, uh, Melody, where can they find you? Uh, well, you can find me on... Uh, mostly, I stream on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash MelodyGore. Uh, I am very active on Twitter, uh, at MelodyGoreMusic. And, uh, yeah, I will... I plan in 2021 to go back and start running X6 again, uh, because I want to get a really good time. Um... Uh, another thing that I want to say is a uh, shout out to Dwango and the rest of the um, the, the staff. giving team.
for giving us the uh, Mega Man block. Uh, this was the first game and the last game in the Mega Man block, so it's very exciting to see uh, X6 get the main stage in the Mega Man block, because normally it gets uh, overshadowed by other uh, Mega Man games, so yeah, it's really cool. Play Mega Man X6. Yeah, definitely, have fun with that. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, this is Random Man 1, sign off. Yeah, and this is Modigor. Peace out. Let's <laughs> go.